There are a lot of questions tonight after a 29 year old woman was arrested, accused of posing as a teenager and enrolling in high school. Was she there strictly to learn or was this part of some other sinister plan? News 4's New Jersey reporter Pat Battles on the case today. She went looking for answers. She's in New Brunswick. Pat? Well, David, we have been working this story all day long, looking for some more information as to why this woman would enroll in a high school and try to befriend kids that were half of her age. But we got no response to any of our phone calls, not from the New Brunswick police, not from the school superintendent, not from the prosecutor's office. So tonight, like everybody else, we've got more questions than we do answers. Student. I find it kind of weird, because why would an old woman be in the school with younger kids? Yeah. I don't know why. There are close to 2,000 students who attend classes here at New Brunswick High School, but authorities say 29-year-old He Jung Shin wasn't one of them, at least not legitimately. She allegedly enrolled in the high school last week, giving the school office a phony birth certificate and attended classes here for four days before school officials caught on to her scheme and ordered her off the property. Throughout the schedule, she was in a few classes and then most time in our guidance suite uh, as we were trying to get more information from her. The superintendent addressing the issue at a recent so Board of Education meeting, Dr. Johnson uh, noting that the school district is required by law to admit students provisionally, even if they can't provide full identification, but that the student has to do so within 30 days in order to be eligible to attend school. He says when officials couldn't verify Shin's documentation, she was ordered to leave. The question everyone wants answered is why was she here in the first place? We spoke to several students who believe that her motives were suspicious. Well, I think she really was trying to traffic young women, which I feel like everybody that is hearing about this, they need to like really watch out and just be um, aware of your surroundings. Indeed, the superintendent said the district has directly contacted the parents of any students that she made direct contact with, and he's warning all students who interacted with her to cut off contact immediately. To refrain from having any further contact with her, either remotely or in person. Um, we do applaud um, our staff members who uncovered this woman's rules. Now, Hai Zhangxing has been charged with providing a false government document in order to verify her identity. That is a third degree crime. We'll stay on top of this story and try to bring you more information if we should get it. In New Brunswick, I'm Pat Battle, News 4, New York.